What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going to do the big turbo reveal. I previously said we were going to review one and we switched it up. But we decided to switch it up. The guys at Turbo Time USA and myself talked and we're changing which turbo we're reviewing. A, uh, looking at it here, a wild, completely different color than what I thought we were going to go with. So uh, I'll have my work cut out for me when we get to actually doing some color matching stuff under the hood. But it stands out to say the least. The big reveal is coming right now. Stay tuned. It's like people are destined to ruin my video on this very not busy side road that everybody idles there. Where's my energy drink? But first YouTube, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop those comments down below. Do you think we're running their stage 1.5, stage two, the GXR 11 or the GXR 7 turbo? Drop that down in the comments right now. So hit pause, leave your comment, and then restart as we get this reveal on. These are not light turbos at all. That's why we love them. Big ass turbos. So we have, this is for my SMB intake because I, for some reason, shipped that along. I don't know why I did that originally. Now, here is our turbo, kind of a wild color. It does look really cool in the sunlight actually. I've uh, only looked at it inside. So comes with the normal caps on obviously. I'm so worried I'm gonna drop this thing. All right, so here is the actual turbo. And I know you won't be able to tell, but I want to give you guys a good look at it. It looks awesome. All right, so I wanted to get me out of the picture primarily here. So you guys can just take a look at the turbo here. So we have this really, really bright, holy crap, is it a bright color? Uh, neon green, which does look cool. It wasn't what I was picturing for my build, but it does look really cool. So some things I want to point out about this. So this is my original core turbo. They rebuilt the core, which probably didn't need anything, but I do have a new turbine wheel and a compressor wheel because we went to a bigger size. So we did stick with the velocity port. It is a little less, it is a little smoother of a transition in than the original one. I think that's kind of cool to note. Uh, the other one had kind of an exaggerated uh, curve here to go down, but still looks really cool. I'm sure it's gonna sound awesome as well. So we ended up going with, so we ended up going with the GXR7 uh, com turbo here from the guys at Turbo Time USA. So it is still a smaller turbo than what I was running. I was running a 66, I think it was like 66.2 or something like that. This is a 65 millimeter turbo and I love it. So on the, re on the remand core they did, again, it was mine. It didn't actually have that many miles on it. Um, they did paint up the exhaust housing and the center housing. So that's nice, just a black, nothing crazy, but it looks nice and clean, I like that. Uh, and then we have a new compressor cover because the other one wouldn't work because it was already machined too big and everything. So this one is a new compressor cover and backing plate. We have the powder coat, obviously. We have a dual plane wheel in here, which I think is cool. They sound awesome. So dual plane versus single plane wheel, guys. A dual plane tends to have better performance up top and the single plane tends to do better in the low uh, bottom end, excuse me. I will say in my experience driving both single and dual planes, I think in the middle they're really close. If you can find one that, it'd be hard to say one is definitively better than the other. Obviously the lower in that quote unquote mid range are, you're gonna probably see better performance from the single plane. And as you get higher, the dual plane will tend to probably do a little bit better. I have become a fan of the dual plane wheels even in diesels, I will say that. But like I said, we plan to eventually compare this head to head to another one of their turbos uh, down the road, not anytime soon. So we still have the velocity port. We went to a 65 millimeter turbo. Some cool things I really like about turbo time. And I don't know if I've really uh, expressed this in the past, but they go, the machining is so nice. They even machine in here. Like this isn't just some factory turbo with a bigger wheel and stuff. They really take time. Um, I noticed I compared two other factory turbos to see how they were. And in here, like this edge is like really rounded, but it's kind of a nice sharp edge. I mean, it's not going to cut you, but, and it's really smooth in here, which isn't always the case. So they really take time. This is not just another turbo that 
darn oil slipped right off. This is not just another turbo that they, uh, you know, put a bigger wheel in, balanced it, and called it a day. This is, this is a little extra than just that. So bear that in mind when you're turbo shopping, guys. Not saying there aren't other great brands out there. I'm just a big fan of my sponsor, Turbo Time USA. And I mean, look at that turbo. It looks just amazing. Again, that color really stands out. So this is just the factory solenoid, guys. At first, I know we talked about the lightning bolt. We are going to do more with the lightning bolt in the future. But for now, we're just sticking with the factory one. And once we have this on the truck running, I have a good baseline. We're then going to swap these out. There is no point in starting with one of the lightning bolts for testing purposes because I don't know how this turbo will perform under normal conditions. One other really cool thing they do, so we have all the hardware in here, and they do include, I won't need this, but they do include a bracket they make to mount an O3 on a newer pedestal. So the O3 will mount, it just it only uses two bolts, the turbo core that is. And then they ha include a pedestal that if you wanna mount it uh, and use all three bolts on a uh, newer pedestal, that there's a mounting bracket that mounts to the turbo and then lets you use that other bolt so a uh, nice little touch they do. I do really like that they include that. And like I said, powder coat looks good. Everything, I know they say you're not supposed to do this, but I can't help it. So it looks really good. Uh, super excited to try this out again. A little bit smaller than their previous turbos, uh, that I, than the previous turbo that I ran. But this should really do a fantastic job. I expect great things. The 66 millimeters spooled really quick. I'm expecting this to be even faster. Obviously, it's a more updated design. Obviously, it's a more updated design and also it's smaller. So inevitably, it should be faster just because it's a smaller compressor wheel. And not that I had lag issues with the 66 at all. It, it was a great running turbo. I loved it. But I'm just expecting this to kind of be in that sweet spot a little bit more. Uh, we do plan to run, go bigger injectors eventually, so this turbo will uh, work really, really well for that whole setup. This will probably be, I want to test other turbos, but this will probably be the size that we land on permanently uh, from Turbo Time USA once, once I get a chance to do all their turbos uh, down the road. So this size is definitely something I really like and I'm excited about for the build, I think it's gonna be great. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, stay tuned for the rest of the truck build, guys. The truck is coming back with the wind. Get out of here while I'm doing my outro. I'm going to go drop this off at the shop for them so they have it when the truck is uh, back. Makes me very excited. And yeah, I'm probably not gonna run a heat shield on this because after you drive so long, that heat shield isn't really doing anything. So whatever. If I did ever run a heat shield of any type on this, it'd probably be a, a turbo blanket on the exhaust side, but I don't even really plan to do that. So whatever that's worth. But again, yeah, really just nice, fine detail to craftsmanship. I love that, you know, inside the outlet, there's machining work where other stuff I've run or seen doesn't have that. And I know it's a small thing. I'm not saying this makes this is going to make it perform a thousand times better. But the fact that they're taking all that little extra time to smooth things out, make sure you have good performance. I just appreciate that kind of time and quality into the product and turn this around. Now, as I was saying, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop your comments down below guys. How excited are you that the build is finally coming together here? Slowly, but surely it is coming. And I'll see you on the next upload.